All right, I'm in Windows 8 and I'm on the desktop mode. What I need to do is add the Greek polytonic keyboard input and then I need to know how to switch from the English keyboard to the Greek polytonic keyboard and then I'll show you how to type in a few of the most common, actually all of the accent marks and breathing marks as we go. So the first thing I need to do is set up the keyboard and to do that I have to go into control panel so I'm going to click on the start and I'm just going to go up here and search for control panel and I'm going to press enter and now that I have the control panel open I'm going to come over here to where it says clock language and region and the the second thing in the list is change input methods so I'm going to click that I need to add a language so I'm going to click add a language then I'm going to find Greek so I look down here and I, hit, I typed G to jump to the G's and so here's Greek Elena Ka so I'm going to select that and click add so I've added the Greek keyboard layout but this is the modern Greek keyboard layout and I need something I can type the accents and breathing marks with and that's why I need the polytonic Greek keyboard layout so I'm going to click options next to the Greek keyboard layout and I'm going to add an input method and the one I want to add is Greek polytonic so I'm going to click that and click add and in fact I don't even need the regular Greek input method I just need the Greek polytonic one so I'm going to remove the Greek one but keep Greek polytonic now I'm going to save that and so now I've added the keyboard layout for Greek polytonic and it's listed there in my control panel so I'm finished with the control panel now to demonstrate typing in Greek I'm going to click start and I'm going to jump into Microsoft Word enter and Word opens. I'll open a blank document and here I am in Word. Let me zoom in a little bit here so you can see what I'm typing and I'm going to change just so you can see the uh, breathing marks and the accent marks a little bit better. I don't have the SBL Greek font installed on here but I'll choose Times New Roman so you can at least see those diacritic marks and I'll increase the size here by a couple points just to make it more visible for you. So if I wanted to type in, say, the word logos, uh, and I want to do it in Greek, there are a couple of ways to switch to the Greek keyboard. So you'll notice now down in the bottom right corner there is an ENG. You might see a little US flag down there depending on what you have set up for your, your version of Windows. Mine has the little ENG to show me I'm in English mode. I can click that and switch to Greek polytonic keyboard. You'll also notice that in the Language preferences, it says for easy switching, press the Windows key, that's the little flag button, plus the space bar, and that will automatically toggle you back and forth from English to Greek. If you do not have a Windows key, you can actually hold down your left Alt button and your left Shift button, and that will toggle back and forth. So notice that I'm toggling, I'm actually pressing Alt Shift on the left side of my keyboard, and it is toggling from English to Epsilon Lambda, which is Elena Ka, which is Greek. Okay, so I'll put that into Greek mode, and now I'm ready to start typing. So Lambda, and I need an Omicron with an acute accent on it, so I'm going to hit the uh, semicolon button, and then the Omicron. And when you do that, it will actually put the accent mark above it. And then um, Gamma, Omicron, and then I'm going to hit the W key for the ending Sigma. That's just a matter of learning the keyboard layout when you're in Greek mode. If I have a, a word that, if I have a word that um, begins with uh, an, a vowel and I need to have a, a breathing mark on it, or if I have a, a word that begins with the letter ro and I need to have a rough breathing mark on it, um, I can use the single quote button to do that, and I'll hold shift to make it a rough breathing mark. So let's begin though by saying that I have an alpha, so I'm going to hit the alpha, which is the A key, and I'm going to, um, actually I need to hit the single quote button first, then the alpha, and that will put the smooth breathing mark on it. If I hold down the shift key, hit the, so it's like double quotes, and then hit the uh, alpha, it will put the, the rough breathing mark on it. Same with the, the letter rho, if I hit the shift and the quote button, and then hit the rho, it will put the rough breathing mark above it for me. Um, if I have a diphthong, it begins with I, with uh, alpha iota, 
So I can hit alpha, smooth breathing mark, which is the single quote by itself, not the shift button. Then hit the iota. I get that. By the way, you may want to turn off your automatic capitalization under autocorrect. I'm going to stop auto capitalizing because it kind of messes up when I type Greek. Uh, and so there is a, a way to do that. If I need to have a smooth breathing mark and an acute accent, say above an alpha, I will type in the slash key, which is the one that's below the question mark. So I'm in Greek mode, I hit that button, then I hit the alpha, and notice how it puts the smooth. If I were to do the shift slash alpha, it puts the rough breathing and an acute accent. If I want to have a grave accent, I have to use the left bracket key. So left bracket alpha puts a circumflex. If I want to do, sorry, I, I think I might have said grave, I meant circumflex. If you want a circumflex, you hit the, the left bracket key and the vowel and it puts the circumflex. Um, Iota subscript is shift, left bracket key, and it puts the Iota subscript. Um, a grave accent is the right bracket key and the uh, vowel, and then it will put the, the grave accent on there. Okay, So those are just a very quick overview of some of the diacritic marks that you need to be able to type. There are others that you'll need to learn and that you'll pick up along the way. So play around with where you have the plus key. So hey, you have a circumflex with a smooth breathing. Shift plus key gets a circumflex with a rough breathing mark. Uh, just a couple more and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, if you need to say um, an accent that looks something like this, a smooth breathing mark with a grave accent, what you do is you hit the backslash key, the one that on the Mac keyboard is above the enter key. It's below the pipe uh, character. And if you hold shift and hit that and then a vowel, you're going to get the rough breathing mark with the grave accent. 